Hi, I'm Jimmy with Silencer Co. and today we're going to talk about the Chimera. Right here I've got a cleared BCM AR-15 and I've got two Chimeras. One Chimera I've have set up in the direct thread configuration and then I've got this one here with the tried and true ASR mount, our QD mounting system that is the most popular mounting system in the industry. A few things we're really excited about with the Chimera. One, it has a very similar sound performance to the Omega. As we all know, the Omega is basically the leading suppressor of all time. Now, while the decibel performance comes in nearly identical, the heavier construction of the Chimera gives it a deeper, richer tone. And the end user seems to appreciate that, that sound a little better. And it's, uh, again, it, it sounds great. It's a 20 ounce silencer, and it basically has the same profile of an Omega. Out of the box, it's going to be about one inch shorter because it ships with that flat front cap instead of the anchor brake that the Omega ships with. Another great thing about the uh, Chimera here is it's compatible with all ASR accessories. So we've got our ASR mount, you can change out your front caps. We have the uh, obviously the direct thread option and it's you know just nice and easy. You're not going to have to do a complete re revamp of your accessories in order to run your Chimera. Obviously in the box it's going to come with the muzzle brake and, and the mounting system to go right on there. This, uh, this silencer is MSRPing for right around $1,000. They're available everywhere, and the more of them get into the field, the more popular they become. This thing's really starting to take off. Folks are realizing if you're running a short-barreled rifle or you consistently shoot full auto and sound suppression is what you're looking for, there's nothing better on the market than the Chimera. So again, if you use short-barreled rifles or you do a lot of full auto shooting, and you need sound suppression, the Chimera is going to be the answer for that. We've got a ton of great videos available on Silencer Co's YouTube, our social media presence, obviously Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, they're MSRPing for about $9.99. They're available everywhere. If you'd like any more information, just go to silencerco.com. We have all the information you could ever hope for. Our second event is over here. Um, we had pretty high expectations at Fort Bragg. Um, we generally thought from the first event moving forward, we hoped and thought that the competition would get a little steeper and a little bit more tough. Boy, did that come true. Not only in the men's division, but these women came out of nowhere and uh, the athleticism they demonstrated was on par with the males. I, I was very impressed. Um, but yeah, coming, coming this close to Fort Bragg, of course we had some guys come from Fort Bragg from the special operations units there and they didn't disappoint. It was a, a pleasure to watch them, their professionalism, the technical ability they bring to the game is just impressive and, and uh, I love to watch it even coming from that world. So um, it was just a great event all around. Uh, the competitors' uh, attitudes were wonderful. Uh, I even made a mistake on the distance for the long event by two miles and didn't have anybody complain. The, the comments were, man, that sucked so good. And they, they ate it up. And so um, we've, we've got our parameters set to move forward for February. We're excited about the events we're going to have there. And we're excited that the, not only is the tactical games growing like that, but the athletes are growing like that. People are titrating and, and figuring out their workout programs. Not to be a general athlete out there anymore. Now they've got a focus. And we got one guy, Dirk Weiss, the dentist. I, I understand his yard is now like a tactical games training center. So he's got sleds and ropes and all kinds of stuff to do. So, uh, so the concept is growing. The games are growing uh, as a, an event and as a company. And we are so excited to be moving forward. Feels pretty good to be the uh, number one tactical athlete for uh, females. Hey guys, Nate Murr with True North Concepts. What I want to talk to you about now is field expedient camouflage, right? So a lot of guys have a rifle, it's black or it's 50 shades of FDE, whatever it might be. Um, they can't bring themselves to give it the old rattle can, the Krylon treatment, uh, they're worried about it. or Say you're a law enforcement officer and you're not allowed to spray paint your weapon, or maybe you just want to change the, the color of the weapon to the environment that you're in. If I have a, a tan rifle, that might not be perfect for a green woodland environment. A green scheme of camouflage might not be good for, say, snow on the ground, right? So what we could do is we can set up our rifle 
and do this pretty quickly, right? Here's some basic stuff you can get. You can get these cotton, they call them sniper veils or SAS scarfs, they're just lightweight cotton. You just drape it over the rifle and wrap it around. And you can secure it in place with bungee cords or 550 cord or zip ties or pretty much whatever you want. It takes a minute or two to set up. When you're done, you can just take it right off. My little tip is to try some of this stuff. This is equestrian leg wraps, right? This stuff's really cheap. It's kind of like an ace bandage where it sticks to itself and just unwraps. Uh, and they make it in a bunch of different colors. You can get like a four pack at Tractor Supply or a similar place that sells stuff for, uh, for horses. So all you do is you just take it, wrap it around. It's gonna stick to itself. And you just go ahead and just keep going, right? Kind of get an overlap. And now all that black barrel is turning the, the camo flash. So it's pretty straightforward and easy. Uh, you can take it on and off in, in all five minutes. You can cut it really easy to wrap around your scope, your magazines. Uh, it also removes the metallic click. So if you smack your rifle against something, there's not going to be that, that obvious metallic sound to it. Um, you can also take it if you get like a lighter color like tan. You can spray paint it. You can customize it. And then you can remove it when you're all done. So that's how we do Phil Expedient Camouflage. I'm Nate Murr with True North Concepts. Stay true.